It's kind of like I went high five, Floki, and Floki just left me hanging there. How's it going, everyone? Cameron here with an app review of Floki, the good, the bad, and the ugly parts of the Floki app. Starting off with the good. Okay, easy and effective interface. I found like interfacing around the main uh, menu of Floki and also in the piece where you actually learn the piano uh, piece uh, to be really intuitive and, and quite simple and clean and slick. It wasn't at all glitchy and just really simple too. The whole interface is not over cluttered. I kind of feel like if Steve Jobs designed a piano learning app, I feel like the interface of Floki would be kind of something like you'd go for. The next good thing about Floki is that it has a really good looping feature. So I just found um, it, most of these piano learning apps have looping features, but I found that Floki's in particular uh, just was really simple and clean. Uh, it looped the sections that you actually highlighted and it wasn't at all glitchy. I have found uh, on other apps, sometimes the loop feature can be a little bit glitchy and finicky and a little bit fiddly, uh, but I found this very simple uh, and it just worked really, really well. The next thing I really liked about Floki is that it has a top-down view of a, well, an effectively an experienced piano player actually playing the piece. So unlike on other apps where you don't get that, you can actually see the hands that they're using, what fingers they're using, uh, but it also gives you a lot of information you don't wouldn't normally get with other apps uh, where you can actually see how they're adjusting their wrists and their hand positions in order to make the playing of the piece a lot easier. As a beginner pianist, which I am, I found that to be really useful. So it's really good to have that visual view of, uh, of, of those hands. So there's no need for special numbering for which fingers you, you need to use like on other apps because you can just look at the person playing and then go, oh, okay, that's the fingers they're using. That's how they uh, navigate through that piece. And I found that really useful. Uh, the next great thing about Floki is that it has this thing called wait feature. And what it does is that it basically will scroll along the the, the piano piece and, uh, and it waits for you to play the correct note in order for the scrolling to advance. Now, when I first started using this, I, it was a little bit disconcerting because I would play a bit and the, the music would scroll and be a little bit jerky. Uh, but I found that once I got familiar with the piece and it got into a good rhythm, it just kind of scrolled smoothly. It kept up with all of my... Uh, my notes, uh, I was using MIDI, but I also tested it uh, without MIDI, just using just the, the sound of the piano, and it didn't miss any of the notes, so that was fine as well. Uh, and I found that to be really good, and, and it wasn't at all glitchy. So I found that feature really useful, and I found myself using that feature the most when learning a piece. Now, the next great thing uh, that it allows you to do is it enables you to split up the hands, left hand and right hand, using the weight feature. So you can just focus on one of the hands uh, and go through the whole piece or a particular loop that you're going through, learn that piece, learn the right hand first, for example, uh, then switch over to the left hand uh, and use uh, the weight feature to learn all the left hand. And that's a really good way of just learning the piano. Just And then, you, of course, you can bring the two hands together. Uh, and yeah, I just found that really good as well. The next feature they offer to help you learn pieces is they offer you the speed where you can play the piece at 75% speed or at 50% speed. Uh, to slow it down, uh, to give you more time, obviously, to learn the piece. Uh, now, that's with weight feature off, so even if you didn't find the right notes with the speeds selected, it would just keep on scrolling regardless, uh, which is actually quite useful if you're, you know, pushing yourself to sight read a piece or just learn a piece uh, and just keep on going even if you do make a mistake. Uh, so it's just a different way of learning uh, I did find that it's also useful. One of the criticisms that people say is they go, oh, they only give you 50% and 75% speed, uh, and sometimes you might want something in between. Uh, but it's important to remember that with the weight feature, you can effectively play the piece at any speed you want, uh, and, the, and the, the music will keep up with you. So you're not restricted to 50% speed or 75% speed or 100% speed. Uh, it will actually... Just with the wave feature, it'll just play at the speed you want to play. And I found myself just using my own built metronome to set whatever time I wanted. I would just play keeping time with the metronome and uh, the flow key app would just keep time with my playing. In terms of the range of pieces, I found that uh, there was a good selection of pieces and uh, across different genres, jazz, uh, pop, rock, uh, classical, plenty of classical pieces as well. So something for everyone. 
There's pieces on there like the theme tune from the Game of Thrones, and let's be honest, who wouldn't want to be able to play that piece at a party? I would. Now what happens is when you select a piece, you can go into it and you'll be presented uh, like with this piece here, there's four different options depending on what kind of difficulty level you uh, you want. Uh, so the idea here is that uh, even if you like a piece, you can select an easier version of it or you can learn a more complex version of it, uh, just whatever you feel like. Now not all pieces have uh, the different arrangements of easy to pro, uh, some of them uh, only have say intermediate or maybe a couple of them uh, so that's something that, that is something to bear in mind but overall I quite like the the idea that people of different abilities can all learn the same piece uh, even if it's a simplified version so I, yeah I like that the last good thing I will say is that uh, the trial version does allow you full access to all the stuff in the app uh, so it's not like some apps where they'll limit how much you can see or do um even if you're on the trial now coming to the bad oh yeah so uh starting with the trial version you only get seven days even though you do get full access to the app you only get it for seven days which is not that long really is it i, I kind of feel like you know something you could have some kind of emergency in life and your seven days just goes and you never really get a chance to actually try it out i would have liked them to have given us at least uh, well, a month probably, ideally, but at least two weeks to, to on the trial version. Uh, so, so that's an area where they, I think they could improve. Uh, the second bad thing, I mean, it's not so much a bad thing, but um, I, they don't have within the app a sort of an overarching study plan. They do have some lessons for you to learn scales and um, a bit of sight reading and, and learning how to read music and so forth. And that stuff's adequate. I find that just just as good as any of the other apps. Uh, but they don't have that overarching study plan. If you like that sort of thing where they say, okay, learn this scale, then learn this piece, then learn these um, chords, whatever it is, and they all kind of walk you through it and give you gold badges. There's none of that so much in the Flowkey app. I didn't really miss that. Uh, I'm kind of like quite happy just picking up the songs, doing the lessons when I feel. Uh, but if that's something you want, then maybe uh, Flowkey's not for you. So the final bad point is that feedback on your playing performance is not great in flow key. You do get this blue tick if you hit all the right notes and obviously in the wait mode uh, you know that you've hit the right notes because the piece of um, music will continue to advance and it won't advance until you hit the right notes. Uh, but there's no feedback on if you are playing several notes together which of the notes you're getting wrong uh, and there's no feedback on timing like I've seen in other apps where uh, you'll you'll be told uh, which notes you're slightly earlier or late on. Uh, so there's none of that. So I feel like that's an area where they could improve. Uh, obviously, I really like the clean and simple interface, and it's good that it's not overly cluttered, but it's, I, th I feel like that's just an area where they could think of something where they could just give the player a little bit of information, particularly around the timing, uh, which is not really monitored that much at all in, in the Floki app. Now, finally, the ugly, the really ugly. And this is something that is a bit ugly. So I was learning John Lennon's Imagine through the Floki app. And I got quite far through the first section of the song. And I got nearly to the end of the first section, four bars from the end. And then the music just stopped. No more music. So and it was really annoying because it got to the climax of the first section. You know, the bit where it goes, and that's where it stopped none of that you may say that i'm a dreamer but i'm not the only one which is kind of like one of the most important bits it's kind of like the climax of that first section and i just thought what why why have you done that why have you given the whole first section except for the last four bars uh so it just seemed a bit bizarre to me and a bit ugly because it's kind of like i went high five floki and floki just left me hanging there yeah, so at first I couldn't really understand why they'd done that, and I thought, oh, maybe it's a copyright thing where they don't want to include the whole song just to carry on copyright or something. And then what I realised as I began to look through other uh, bits of music is that they'd included more bars of the song for the advanced and pro uh, compositions of each bit of music. Now, that didn't exist for Imagine because they only had one option, which was the intermediate, uh, which I was learning. I guess they feel like... Uh, the way that we can make this easier is to include less of the song. Don't know. It just seemed a bit strange to me. 
like either include the last four bars of that first section of the song, I think, or include an advanced version which has it, so at least I can go on and, and learn it. So that is my good, the bad, and the ugly parts of Floki. Would I recommend it? I think, yeah, overall I liked a lot of what I saw in Floki. I think it would be something that I would consider uh, subscribing to on a permanent basis, uh, something that would supplement some of my other studies in the piano. Uh, I do put a lot of time and effort into making these videos, uh, so if this is something that you've found useful, please consider subscribing and liking. It just helps other uh, people on YouTube find my content. Okay, so till next time, see you later.